Hello, everybody. Good morning or good after. I don't know where the fancy sounding comes from. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you are for you where you are. Certainly, it can't be that fancy if we're falling over a bit. I think I need to tighten a knob somewhere. Is it this one? Oh, it's, that one's already tight. Anyway, hi, hello, happy Sunday. Sorry, I um. I was I was very wishy-washy about whether or not I would stream today. I was kind of waffling about it yesterday at the end of stream, and then today I thought, it's just too sad to skip a news video and a stream. I don't want to. <laughs> you can't make me. I mean, you could, but it would it would take some hacking. I want to thank Lunaray Star for a six-month resub and Baba B Five for an eight-month resub. Thanks, guys. Also, Honey Bun TV with a twenty-three-month resub. Twenty-three months. What the heck? Hope you're having a day that's as lovely as you are. Wah shucks. Thanks for always being around creating content. Much love to you and Kira. Thank you. We do love waffles. Out of sync? Is that just me? Let me find out. Or at least let me let you find out. <laughs> See if that looked awful. <sighs> Forever jealous of your fishing shirts. I love this one in particular just because it's enormous. I don't know if you understand. I'm like, it's about ocean fish and you get to put it on and then drown in it. <laughs> A lot of um, a lot of vintage or secondhand shirts that are sold on the resale market will be quite large because that way they can just fit more people, so they've got a wider audience of, you know, s silly geese who want to overspend for old clothes to market to. And uh, and I I just like feeling as though I am still ensorcelled in my bed. I was just seeing um, I I want to do lots of things today, but I was just seeing that that looks really good, so I'm gonna make just. Um, a lot of this. How much do I want to make? How crazy do we want to go? Is it because source prices are low or is it because estimated prices are high? I think that, I mean, that's trending up, but that's pretty solid. I'm, I'm going to go for it. We're going to make how many of these? How, how long do I want to spend drinking my coffee? Let's, let's be bold. Let's, well, first, let's make sure I'm not trying to sell any. No, I'm out of primal conversion. That's good. Let's make, um, how much would it cost to do a thousand? Yeah, we'll do a thousand of them. So I'm gonna buy a thousand wake in order and a thousand of everything else. I love shopping for primal convergent crafting because you, um, the numbers are really easy. There's no math involved. <laughs> Some of these things are like, you're gonna need two vials and 16 hock and bloom and 4.2 of these things. And uh, with these ones, it's like, yo, even numbers? Yes. <laughs> yes. A thousand of the earths and then a thousand of the frosts. There we go. So we're down, what was that, 600k? Something like that. One, two, yeah, three, four, somewhere in the range is 600k. Exotic, <sighs> I've been trying to invest my gold anyway, so. <laughs> oh, wider audience for bigger shirts. Oh no. Oh, I didn't. How's the state of WoW came back for the new uh, new add-on expansion got bored? I think it's pretty fun, but I'm I'm impervious to boredom. I just, there's there's too many things for me to do. Am I gonna throw down? Yeah, let's throw down an incense and let's let's re-up our uh, aerated file of the quick hands here to make sure that we don't run out of that because we're gonna need that. Just wing off a thousand of those and then I'm gonna put my feet up and drink some coffee. <laughs> don't tell me you like selling stuff again. It's just cause it's, oh, hang on, I only made one of them. It's just because it's, um, it's working. <laughs> I've been, it's been, it's been profitable again and it's been selling again and it's been making me gold again and if, I don't know, like a couple streams I'll do and then I'll open up my bags and somebody goes, wow, she's rich. And I go, yeah, I am. And uh, as much as I don't have anything to spend my gold on that I'm really excited about, the ego boost can't be undersold. So <laughs> I'm back at it. <sighs> um, too many things to do. I'm bored. Too many few things to do. I'm bored. Sometimes, um, sometimes you can unpack your boredom and find out what it is. Is it that there's something else that you would prefer to do? Is it just, sometimes I'm just like spiritually bored and nothing will do. Sometimes it's not the game, it's me. <laughs> Hi, kitty cat. You want to come see me? No, you're going to stop and groom two feet from me. Hi. Welcome. Hey, sweetheart. How you doing? How you doing? She was uh, staking me up this morning. She'd fin It was very sweet. She'd finished her breakfast early, and instead of meowing at me to get me to get up and get her more of it, she just, like, waited by the food. <laughs> Primal Convergent never been profitable, as far as I know. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's a region thing. Um, 
having all of like the the points and the gear helps. Um, and then it's definitely never profitable just on like a one to one basis. Like if I craft and I don't proc, um, those are those are bad numbers. If I craft and I, every time I craft and I don't proc anything, I lose effectively 161 gold. And if I only inspire, I'm still losing 118 gold. It's it's in the it's in the small chances that happen eventually that you make your gold back. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I've never played EU. It's quite possible. A few gold profit per convergent. <laughs> Because they're they're region wide, so so I'm working with the same auction house that anybody that is um, I'm working with the same auction house that anybody on NA is. <sighs> it's not the game; it's me. Is another one for sure that will never get made. They might be hard to sell. I know that I chronically internalize everything that happens to me, and I'm quite happy that way. But I don't think everybody does, and I don't think everybody wants to. <sighs> Hey, hey, been a while. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? I'm, um, in a mild, well, here, let's, let's have some coffee. I'm in a mild state of disarray. I feel like my desk is a good indicator of what I've, how I've, how I've been doing. And it's that it looks like a stereotype of a frazzled, underemployed comic book writer from the 90s. Um, complete with the gigantic shirt from the 90s. I've got a bowl of candy. Um, I've got a little dish of fuzzy peaches that I was snacking on at my desk while I was editing in the middle of the night last night. And then I covered them up. I decided I'd had enough and I wanted to save the rest for some other time. But if I, I could see them, I would keep eating them. So I covered them up with a napkin. And then it's like I have a spooky, stripy ghost on my desk. So that's living over there. Um, I have... My trusty tennis ball, which I was telling you guys about last week, or yesterday. That's not the same thing. I was telling you guys about it yesterday. <laughs> I drop it a lot. And, um, and I found it, and it's back on my desk. And um, this, is, this is how I'm fidgeting now, because I'm a cartoon character. <sighs> Do not know what a fuzzy peach is. It is a type of candy. It's like a chewy candy with a sour dust coating on it. Only mildly sour. It's not a super sour candy. Um, they're pink and orange and red, and they're kind of peach flavored. Um, and disappointingly, they don't look all that much like butts. Desk chaos is a legit marker. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of working for me. I'm kind of I'm kind of digging this vibe. Um, the thing that I've noticed, and this will probably wear off because one thing I've noticed about myself is that no strategy for feeling better works for longer than like two weeks. But you just got to keep coming up with new ones. Um, you can't be too in your head when you're when you're trying to catch the tennis ball, especially if you're bad at catching the tennis ball. If I get good at this, that's going to be a problem. But you can't be too in your head when you're doing this because you got to catch the ball and it's just very bright and yellow and just kind of like rinses everything out, out of the back of my brain. So this is how I've been fidgeting when I've been like reviewing files or reading through stuff or basically anytime I'm, I'm working on something and I've got my hands free and I just need to look at something for a bit. Um... <laughs> tennis ball. <sighs> One day I'm gonna have a dog and the dog's gonna take my tennis ball and then my dog my dog's gonna get my tennis ball all slobbery and then I won't want to play with it anymore but I love the dog so it'll be okay. <sighs> uh, they're so good might go and buy some fuzzy peaches today. I swear it's just a candy you can get them in movie theaters. They are my preferred kind of basically like movie theater candy like if I'm not gonna get a I mean, not that I really get movie theater candy or go to the movies, but if um, if I was picking something out of a candy stand, Skittles are also up there. Um, and then Lifesavers, or sorry, not Lifesavers, Starbursts are another good one that I would keep. I used to keep Starbursts in my purse for when I was out in the world, just in case I felt like really lightheaded, especially around tattoo appointments. Um, I would have candy on me just so that I could get my blood sugar back up if I needed to. Uh, sour cherries. That I don't know if I've had. That sounds like a... Sour cherry sounds like a drink to me. One of the main candy staples of Canada. Definitely Canada. They're not... They, really? Maybe I just never looked for them while I was in the States? Is that true? Weird. You guys have Skittles, right? <laughs> Get a big slobbery dog. Don't worry. Everything you own will be covered in slobber so you won't know the difference. Friend used to breed St. Bernard's. Yeah, that's going to be something I'm going to have to get over in my life. Because I do want a big slobbery dog, but I don't really like dog slobber, but I'm going to have to just deal. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna have to get less fuzzy about things being kind of slimy. Uh, have to have Canadian friends mail slash mule them to me on trips. Oh man. They're a sweeter ring. Okay. They're more of a thing here. Hmm. Smarties are better than MMMs. I will agree with you on that. Whoa! See, we, and then you drop the ball and then you have to go back and get the ball, which is like a 10 second job, which I appreciate. Although I will leave the ball. Well, no, I was told never to leave the tennis ball on the floor. You can roll an ankle. Oh, kitty. I'm gonna stabilize you here. Whoa! I do that a lot. Oh, it's a good thing I put down a lot of rugs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Um, can you get chunky clouds in Canada? I'm assuming based on context clues that you are referring to something that's a candy and not the sky. <laughs> I've never heard of them, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. <sighs> Had an arrow brownie bar. It was good. Huh. Candy make my teeth hurt, so I try to avoid getting any. I don't do it super often. I've had this bag of fuzzy peaches in my cupboard for, like, months. But I've discovered recently... Have I discovered anything? No, I've just been eating candy at my desk. <laughs> I've just been eating candy while I edit every now and then. I'm not, like... I know some people get very Skinner box with themselves, and they will, like, reward themselves in a very micro level for, like, small tasks. And I've given up on doing that, um... That's, it just, it just started to seem too, too, too not me. It wasn't, it didn't, didn't feel natural. Um, so now I just sometimes have some candy. Best candies are Cadbury eggs. Oh, you can keep those. <laughs> those are all for you. That is a, that is a, that is something I can, I can sit out. People, people really go nuts for the Cadbury eggs. I know somebody who knows somebody who has told anecdotes about this player making like a big deal about whenever the Cadbury, the mini eggs would come out every season and then and then just like crunching on them while they were cute arena. Hobbitus, thank you for the seven month resub. Definitely seen Chunky Clouds before now that I'm looking at them. Don't think we have the specific brand in Canada. Former Cadbury egg addict can confirm. Cat, 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 cat. You're round in Canada. Yeah, they're not my thing. I used to do Cadbury cream eggs sometimes, but I reached a certain age where the filling just tastes like it's so sweet that it tastes sharp, like it hurts. Um, I used to really like caramel candies as well, like cheap, like uh, caramilks or whatever. And I can't do those anymore either. Like they were, they were perfect for my young palate. And now that I am cranky, it will no longer do. Uh, cream eggs, forgot that they're non-filled ones. Mm. Now, you know what I do mess with is the chocolate from uh, Kinder Egg. I think it's because it's very thin. Or it's just appealing that there's a toy in there that used to be exciting when you were when you were a wee, a wee tot. Okay, kitty, let's get comfy. We've got 447 Primal Convergent left to go. I'm going to drink some coffee and I'm going to talk about what we're going to do for the rest of the stream. I think I am going to do a mildly short stream again today. Um... Oh, that reminds me. Hang on. Oh, sorry, kitty cat. Did I get you? No, you're good. <laughs> I need I need better spatial awareness. Sometimes I bump the cat and she forgives me, but I feel awful. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, it just occurred to me that today is Sunday. Today is Sunday. Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was like Thursday today. That's not right. Um, hang on. If I don't put things in my calendar immediately, they don't happen. May the... Let's say... Okay. Did I add a reminder to that? No, I need an alert. 30 minutes before. There we go. Okay. Um... Yeah, so today, aside from crafting a thousand primal convergence and then reveling in my um, big piles of money, well, nerd game game money, <laughs> uh, I want to do two clears of Nighthold on my alts. I want to I want to do Crinkle and Inksy through Nighthold, and then depending on what time it is, um, I'm obsessed with my hunter and I just want to level it. 
I don't, I know it's not new content, but apparently I just don't care. I'm having so much fun just questing and like, I don't, I don't even, I mean, I'm urban and mining. I, I don't, I don't see the, the, the vision, but I feel the, the earth. I feel the vibes. <laughs> uh, primal convergence are used for a bunch of stuff. Not as many things as you'd think, actually. Um, but they're used by different professions. In alchemy, the main thing I use them for is making sagacious incense, which is the incense you can put down for some extra inspiration. I mostly sell them to other crafters. Morning, everyone. We had severe weather. Oh, chance of more severe weather again tonight. Well, I hope you stay safe. Button up the button up the domicile. Leveling lobies is more fun than it should be. I'm just really into this one. I had a hunter before. I could have just played my existing hunter and I would have been level 60 already. And it's not even like that was a hunter that I made back in the Warlords that I've forgotten about the origin for. I made it like somewhat recently. Um, I think maybe during the Dragonflight pre-patch or something when I was leveling alts. It's a troll. She's cool. Um, I'll probably level that one eventually, but I'm just really playing this, uh, this Draenei. Everyone receive mail containing a wilder cloth and a shard? Yep. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever acknowledge that. It's it's clearly some kind of game marking bug, but it's it's funny that it's happened to everybody. It's just a, it's just it's just funny to me. It's like when um it's like when your principal at school forgets to turn the PA off and just says something like normal to their secretary. It's not like scandalous, but it's just funny that it's not working right. Uh, I think you can get enough gold while leveling to get epic flying. Um, you can. I didn't. I was like 1k gold short when I got to that level, so I bought, I just sent her the gold. Um, but I also sent her gold in like bags early this time anyways. She is currently level 61, and she's in the Waking Shores. For whatever reason, I've committed to the Waking Shores. I'm gonna hunt down at least all the quest transmog that I can learn in that character, and then maybe try and keep an eye out for like rares that drop mog that I need. I'm using all the things. And I'm very impressed by how many of the things from all the things that I don't have from things that I don't have from uh, <sighs> dragon flight zones. But I gotta just chip away at it a little at a time. If you look at the big picture, it gets too big, too much. Darkman Fair is up. Mm. Ooh, you know what I need to do the Darkman Fair for actually is um, alchemy points. I need um, I need to take I need to take this character there and do profession weeklies or profession monthlies or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Do I want the ten percent? I might. I don't think it'll. Eh, it'll make a little bit of difference. If I wanted to be more efficient, what I would do is say, forget the hunter, park her for now, let her get some rested, because, you know, she's using all the heirlooms now that would make that rested last longer, but that only really does you any good if you have any rested. So the Wisdom says, park the hunter, don't play her. Get on your shaman, your resto shaman, your level 64 orc resto shaman wearing magnificent heritage armor named Honey Plum. Play her, do time walking healing. It's wrath time walking right now. I could get um, the Dark Moon Fair buff. She's got heirlooms. She's got rested. She can heal time walking dungeons. I could be working in the trading post that way. It ticks a lot of boxes. Um, and I'm unlikely to have time for it other than today's stream until weekly reset. So that's the, the smart thing to do. Whether or not I do that remains to be seen. We gotta do Nighthold first. Best way to farm awakened materials is? I buy them. I just, I just buy them. Um, people farm them in groups, typically. Not so much order, but the other ones, people will join um, elemental farming groups in the outdoors and farm them that way. But for, for at the scale that I like to craft, it's impractical to farm them yourself. And it's, I just, I just buy like a thousand at a time. Worth upgrading gear in week one, we're below 400 item level. Yeah, yeah, the low level gear upgrades are taking mats that you're gonna have loads of, so I wouldn't be too um, worried about upgrading upgrading your gear right now. You're gonna get more flight stones, you're gonna get more crests. Um, you're, and then getting your item level up will help you as you get into new content in, in season two and start looking for more and better stuff to upgrade more. Hmm. Hi, kitty. How you doing? Mm. 
Yeah. How can I use Crest to upgrade gear? You use them at the item upgrade of the NPC. You don't need them for the low level upgrades, I don't think. I think it's only once you get to a certain point that you start needing Crest. I haven't actually done it, but if you take the gear that you want to upgrade to the NPC, like the item upgrader, they will tell you what you need. Lunar, I thank you for the five gift subs. That is mostly my plan, um, is to wing it a little bit with my with my upgrading. I'm just, I haven't like fully researched, I'm gonna need XYZ amount of this kind of crest and this many flight stones. I'm just gonna kind of like get some good stuff that I feel good about and then go talk to the NPC and be like, what do you want? <laughs> Hey, what's the big idea? Uh, Primal Convergence, your big money maker. It's one of them. Um, it depends. This is a really high number. This is this is uh, definitely a fluctuation right now. It doesn't usually. It's not usually this much profit. But um, I also will kind of tab through the rest of my recipes because I can now pretty efficiently make potions and files of both types. I'm not perfect at um, air potions, but I'm pretty. I've got all the multi craft and everything, so. Um, I will tap through the other recipes and I will see if there's anything that kind of feels worth it. It doesn't have to be like a hundred profit per craft for me to do it because you can do things in big bulk, but it kind of depends on how expensive the mats are. So something like Hush Zephyr has fairly cheap mats and if I can make 25 gold a piece, I will, I'll, you know, I'll make a batch of that. Those are invis pots. Um, aerated mana actually, like it's only five gold each, but these are really cheap. Like I could, and it's a really high sale rate. So I could buy, assuming that I wanted to just go AFK for a while while I crafted them. I could buy math for like 2000 crafts of these, which is like 10,000 mana pots. And it wouldn't like hurt that much. Whereas with something like Primal Convergent, you have a bigger craft, but you've also got bigger, um, you've got to invest more of your, your funds to get, to get it rolling. So, um, it's, you know, you could, kind of depends on like things like this. I'll check the sale rate. So if something is like really profitable, but you know, has a really low sale rate in TSM, it's that bottom number. Um, then I will be more conservative about it. Maybe I won't make as many, uh, maybe I won't make it at all. But if, um, if something's got like a good strong sale rate and it's got like a good strong profit per craft and it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I do lots of different things. Um, What's incense at right now? Incense, not profitable. Interesting. Exultant incense profitable. Did I sell all of mine? No, I've got 11 of the up still. I don't need to make any more yet. This is used in very, very small quantities for the, I think it's the Onara thing. Anyway, let's post up my, in my big batch of convergence and then uh, dark moon fair for alchemy points before I forget. Have anything dark moon trade? fair. So I want to send off. Oh yeah, those are up for sure. I wonder if somebody was trying to reset them or if somebody's just stocking up ahead of the patch. Um, I have made the choice to not try to speculate. I'm not trying to second guess what the market's going to do in terms of when I'm buying it, when I'm selling stuff. I'm just checking frequently and then whenever it's currently good, um, I will make a bunch of stuff. The, it's a pretty safe bet. Like if you were thinking about this like two months ago, basically in the dip of the patch, if you invested big in, you just bought like, you know, 50,000 of each herb and, and um, whatchamacallit, just like a tons and tons of elementals, then you could be pretty well assured that the prices a couple months ago for all those mats would have been substantially lower than it is now. But in the short term, just like day to day and week to week, it's a bit tricky to predict because you've got predictable demand points when like raid comes out, people need potions. But you also have a lot of crafters that know that and that are trying to account for that. And depending on, depending on how, you know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to get an exact, sometimes it's not as good as you want it to be. I'm going to the fair, that's right. Doom Goddess, thank you for the six month resub. So I'm just, uh, I'm just winging it. <sighs> Seeing this, remembering I have my characters in a pretty low pop server. Oh. Um, if you if that's discouraging you from gold making, don't let it. Um, all of these things I'm selling are on the region wide auction house, so this would be the exact same thing. Um, the the mats that I'm buying and selling, it would be the exact same thing on any North American server. Okay. Well. That's right. Dark moon fair. Dark moon fair. I my alchemy is a bit sad. I've only very recently started putting alchemy points into transmutation um, because I hadn't really bothered with it before. I was more focused on making things that I could sell. 
Oh, yeah, no, I don't have any here. <laughs> I, need, I need more potions points, but Dracothist is like the big thing right now, and I don't want to cheat. So um, I've started very late game. It's only 20 points, but I've started trying to put points into transmutation. And if I could just get four more points, I can um, increase the frequency at which I can transmute. However, um, I, I've, I've gotten all my weekly points already, so I'm going to get some from the Dark Moon Fair, but I think I, unless I catch a Dragon Shard of Knowledge, I'm out of luck until Tuesday. Got the Seething Slug finally. It's a miserable mount again. Congratulations. I think that's the one you get like the Seething Orbs and then you go loot the thing. I think I am officially um, going to procrastinate the Daylights out of that one. I'm going to leave that alone for a long time. <sighs> Boo Boo Kitty came running when you meowed. Hmm. Uh, max inspiration. You, you, for most potions, or mo for most crafts except for the really basic ones, you cannot guarantee a rank 3. Um, but you just get as much inspiration as you can so that you can get it, you know, proc it as much as possible. You're gonna get inspiration on your gear, you are you can get inspiration from, from, uh, let me see. So, in my, my gear here... I have enchanted my tool with inspiration. You can get um, profession tool enchants, that's important. And then there's also some inspiration on the hat. So you want basically a f one of these, like a 372 five-star blue quality alchemist hat. My robe is only four-star. I need to get somebody to recraft that. <sighs> that's gonna be some of it. Um, if you're making potions, you want inspiration. You would want points into theory and then inspiring ambiance. That's gonna give you some flat inspiration for everything. You're also going to get more inspiration points um, to some extent. Do you get more inspiration extra or is it just resourcefulness? Uh, you get a little bit, in, you get more in, in the points basically. So just talent points will get you part of the way there as well. <sighs> profession points for the Dark Moon Fair. Yep. Profession points and um, skill ups as well if you need them. Helpful if you're leveling like a new profession on an altar if you just never maxed out your skill. But yeah, you want to you want to come do your, if you, if you want the knowledge anyways, if you're farming knowledge, you want to come... Come do these. So there's the alchemy one. I forgot to bring this stuff. I'm just going to buy the thing. You get your moonberry juice, um, which you can buy in Goldshire, but I'm lazy and I forgot. So we're just going to pay the, pay the lazy tax. Moonberry juice. I need five of those. Eight gold I'll never get back. And then the herb one, I'm just going to run around herbing. I'm not going to worry too much about like cooking or anything. Because cooking has no knowledge points. I wish cooking had knowledge points. That would be fun. <laughs> and then I buy the... Not from you. Pardon me. Soon my professions will be a college course. <laughs> some gold making courses, and honestly, some class guides can look like um, can can look like post secondary education. It just depends on um, how how seriously you want to take it, I guess. I like that there's some amount of depth to it because it feels satisfying once you've really got your feet into it, and there's a lot of a lot of satisfaction that comes from being like, oh, I I I, I would be. I really want to see how efficient it's going to be when I can get these extra points. Um, I'm motivated to get my profession knowledge, or I don't know. I'm just I've had I've had more fun crafting in Dragonflight than any expansion by a country mile, by by far. Um, yeah. oh. <laughs> Nineteen of twenty. Nineteen of twenty. I need one dragon chart of knowledge. <sighs> oh well. Um, it's been it's been super super fun. Alright, what's my Dracothist cooldown at, anyways? Dracothist. I could make another one in two hours. Two hours. The other dead guy, thank you for the two month resub. I don't know if I thank Doom Goddess for their six month resub. Thank you very much. Happy half a year. And Katarin with a six month resub as well. Thanks, guys. Uh, the quests are in the Darkmoon Fair area. They're in different spots for each of the professions, but they're, they're around. You'll notice them because they've got the yellow. Exclamation mark as opposed to the um, blue one that you would see for daily quests. Okay, there's cooking and fishing as well. So if you want like skill ups for those, you can do them. But I'm I'm just gonna do herb and alchemy. Herb points are a little bit arbitrary, especially when I'm not spending that much time herbing on my main. But it's, you know what? Actually, that's not true. Sometimes I'm in the Zerlet Caverns and I overload a glow spore node, and I'm like, this is just the best day <laughs> ever. Um, the glow spores are. 
pretty valuable right now. They're pretty juicy. Do I have any on me? Um, and no, I don't have any on me right now. Being able to get just big bunches of them is so satisfying. <sighs> T I till later. Thank you for the two month threes. Appreciate it. Am I gonna leave a character at Darkshore? I should, shouldn't I? Um, I should. I could leave um. Who did I play in War or in BFA? I could leave Inksy out there. I'm sure she would have whatever the correct amount of facing her quest done would be. Like the Dark and Fair, but it needs a revamp. I like fishing there. I think it just needs. No, I don't know what it needs. <laughs> I enjoyed the Dark and Fair well enough, but I kind of got what I wanted from it, and I was pleased with that. I was happy to not need to come back here every month because I was kind of over it. Um, but I liked that I was able to get to a point where I felt like I finished. So I think I'm I'm quite happy because I don't come here. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, spend spend a couple points. What am I doing an herb lately? I've just been um, trying to. I mouse double click sometimes. Oh, there we go. <sighs> I have been working on this one. I don't really need extra Hawk and Bloom, but you get a couple of you get a little bit of extra points in just general herbing, and I kind of just want to max out this entire section just for. Just because um, I've got this one almost completely capped out. I realized after a while that I'll get more perception. I don't care about perception, really. Perception's not that good. And then these ones are a these ones are a later me problem. So because the, the, these bonuses only apply to their specific herbs. So if you're putting points into decayed, it's going to give you perception while gathering decayed herbs. And there's no point thing for glow spores. So I'm not too not too fussed about that. We can uh, sink some points in here. It's herbalism, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to Nighthold. I'm going to Nighthold. Mm -hmm. Well, Mountain Darkshore. There's no mountain. <laughs> There's no mount. Um, nothing. Never mind. I'm trying to camp the frightened Kodo. It's worth getting those to 20 for the cooldown reduction. Let me look at it. Um, let me see here. Herbalism. Cause yeah, I got I got one of them to twenty. Amount of overload is refunded is increased by a small amount. How big is a small amount though? Like if you do all four of them, which is a lot of points. I guess I'll, I'll circle back to that after. Well, maybe I'll get f 15 is kind of a lot for only five more points. It's it's herbalism. Okay, nighthold, 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 nighthold. Arcadia Online, thanks for the two month reset. Thanks for reminding me about the ferret. Need the buff for snail turn-ins. There you go. Yeah, some some dedicated people will have been. Also, look at my hunting. Mm. Some dedicated people will have been uh, s holding on to those. Loam Niffin reputation items. Speak, forget the hunter, look at my kitty cat. Loam Niffin reputations, hi. Items, and then turning them in with the Darkmoon Fair buff. You're so cute. I won't smooch you, I put on lip gloss today. <laughs> I don't want to gunk up your fur. Hi. Hi. I love cats. Uh, tip for getting that mount. Sure, what do you got? Niffin rep seems slow. World quest reset quickly though. Yeah, it's going it's going okay. Oh jeez, they did something. They did something. Just give me a starter build. <laughs> they reset my talents. I don't know what Shadow Priest do anymore. This'll work. We're going yeah, so we 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 full clear for the last time and then we will be in good shape too. They won't be in good shape. Where's my Oh, it's over here. That's weird. Farewell, friend Am I happy with my outfit? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this might get me enough raid bosses killed. Full clearing Nighthold twice might do enough to finish my Traveler's Log. Alt for each spec? Nah. Nah. I'm actually missing quite a few classes. I've come to accept that I'm the kind of person that loves making alts, but I don't need to play everything. I am. I am happy to not play. If anything, I'm happier when I don't play everything because I don't get quite as confused by all of my different alts. If I if I have duplicates of the same things, I can still like farm 
gold and do oh I, I knew this was coming but I can um, I can do all the same things I like doing at alts but I don't have to learn a new rotation if the trick works give me a sub go to trial class random servers oh okay I think I'm just gonna try and camp it on my on my server I'm sure that's a I'm sure that's a good idea thank you might have a grudge against paladins. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I have against paladins. I make them every now and then to tank. I think they make phenomenal tanks. But if, I, if I'm not in the mood to tank, or if I would prefer to tank in like a bear druid or something, I just never reach for paladins. Got it on server we start? Mm. <sighs> These things fly. We must spread word of the Alliance's arrival. I knew that. I just don't think I'd flown on one yet. I don't think I'd really gotten acquainted with one of these guys. The Magistrix thugs are impeding the His efforts to distribute Arkwine. Find her in the canal. In this game, did, she feeds didn't have people. pets. I don't think I understand the question. Is it what would I do in the game if it didn't have pets? Because probably the answer might just be the rest of it. I like doing lots of stuff. Hmm. Jane and Kaylee. Aww. It sound like sound like they were very nice kitties. The wings were a clue. The wings were a clue. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Do we have mounts that have wings that don't fly? I can't think of any penguins. <laughs> Chickens. The um the uh, the chicken mount has wings, doesn't fly. Still trying to level the warriors. Anzu? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a there's a few of them. <laughs> That makes me feel a little better. <sighs> Cranes, plane striders. Call plane striders! Calling them wings is generous. They are wings. <laughs> they are wings. Oh, okay. I want to make sure my difficulty is on mythic. Can't imagine I need much mog from here, but it'll be nice to get the skip all finished up on two more characters. They'll, uh, and then we have a nice easy, I, that's the wrong way, nice easy time of this in future weeks, because I have this idea that these mounts just won't drop for like a long time, and I've made my peace with that. I'm okay with that. I don't, you know what? I don't want the mount to drop yet. <laughs> when one mount drops, I'm just going to have to keep doing this place and hoping for the other one. Is it possible to get a bonus mount? Like if I get the normal mount and I have to keep farming mythic to get the mythic mount, which also has a chance to drop normal. Can I get the normal mount twice before I get the mythic mount? Then what? Carry it around with me? Yes, hope we get more mounts like the chicken. Hmm. <sighs> what did I decide I was doing to AoE in here? Holy Nova? Oh, I've, I've specced out of it now. <laughs> my, my redone patch talents. The new starter build didn't consider the fact that I might want to Oh, I've got Halo as well. That's no good. Here, let's let's sort this out. Um, I want Divine Star instead of Halo. I want Holy Nova, which is over here. So if I just say, you know what? We're not worried about mind games. <laughs> Holy Nova and yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I'm just trying to get some more. AoE, basically, that I can use to rinse down packs of trash. <sighs> Halo's good. Twice a minute. I like Divine Star because it's strong enough to kill this stuff, and it's a much shorter cooldown than Halo. Um, it's it's kind of it's mostly my go-to. Holy Nova seems decent, but uh, also I just totally whiffed it by by doing one. It seems to this is actually cool. I don't think I had this talent before. It either didn't exist or I just hadn't taken it. The one that like makes your Holy Nova stack up and save damage whenever you're not using it. That's nice for, for raid players. <laughs> Tried solo shuffle on a Dispriest last night. Scary. Went two of six, three of three. Nice! Take it. Sounds like success to me. I haven't been back in. I haven't been back in. I'm gonna go in next week. I don't know when. <sighs> I'd say I would designate one day of the week to be shuffle day, where I just stream shuffle on that one day. But I want to shuffle more than once a week. But I don't want to, I may not want to stream it at all. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Plus, whenever I've tried to like designate a specific stream date to a given activity, I always run into the problem where I don't want it. Like I, the thing I really like about streaming is that I pretty much just do whatever I feel like. And I think that's part of the appeal is that we're not really forcing any particular kind of content. We're just kind of gaming like people would. And uh, whenever, whenever I decide to make, you know, Friday is this day. And then sometimes Friday shows up and I go, mm, no. For 10, I don't want. Years. No one can tell you what to do, not even yourself. This is true. <laughs> this is actually a big problem with me. I know I'm not the only one that has like a rebellious streak against self-discipline, but I genuinely get like petulant and rebellious against my own self-discipline. I'll tell myself to do something and then my inner child goes, I don't think so. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <sighs> You play Shuffle and Druid? Just the Druid, yeah. I like keeping different classes for PvE and PvP. So I'm PvE healing on the Evoker and then I'm PvP healing on the Druid. I wouldn't hold your breath for the return of Hazel after dark. I think that that channel served to teach me that sometimes you don't need a second channel. <laughs> sometimes you're streaming about as much as you're going to. And uh, and it's okay to just play games and not, not stream. <laughs> it's okay to just play games on your own time. Have you had to do much PvE on your Druid to be able to shuffle? No, no. I was able to basically buy her crafted gear. And then I got enough honor to get myself into the honor gear that I needed to get into shuffle by... It was like an arena skirmish week and I just queued a bunch of skirmishes. And then I guess you did, I did a few world quests. I did like some PvP world quests in war mode. Again, to get like um, a weekly quest done and to get some honor so I could just buy the gear to get me into the item level. But um, no, I didn't, I didn't do any raiding or keys or anything like that. I'd say a handful of world quests is about the, the extent of it. And I took Flabby to help me kill stuff because I don't have a functional DPS spec on the Druid. I have a Bimkin spec and it's dis dysfunctional. If you did hold your breath for it, you'd probably choke. Had a golden two streams in its life. I'm just surprised we did it twice. <laughs> What class would be the easiest PvP one to get into? What do you think, chat? What do you think? My thinking for DPS is that it might be BM Hunter, which is why I'm leveling a BM Hunter, but I don't know if that's actually easy or if I'm just wanting it to be easy. <laughs> you know, you might have to aim your traps sometimes. They're all hard. It's not the class, it's the game mode. Yeah, it's true. But nothing is hard if you bring your rating down far enough. It just becomes... Actually, that's not true. I used to think... And I still kind of do that. Like, if, you're, if your PvP rating is low enough, the games will get easier. Like, if you think PvP is too hard, you just need to keep playing until the game puts you against other people that are at a similar level to you, and then it won't be so hard anymore. You'll win sometimes. The whole point of a matchmaking system is to find your people so that you can win approximately half of the time. Oh, shush. What am I doing with dialogue sound on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However... <laughs> Something I've noticed, especially for healing, I don't know if this also holds for DPS, but especially for healing, is that when you get in, when your rating gets too low, the games just become abject chaos in a way that doesn't necessarily make them any easier. Um, you'd think that like a, I mean, you, you can you can carry, but not to the same extent that you might think you could, just because of how messy the really low rated games get, because it's sometimes it's just like, three people go off in three different directions. You know, somebody's lost behind the pillar. <laughs> um. Meow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How am I doing on that traveler's log? Six of 25 raid bosses, and that can include low-level ones. 28 of 50 dungeon bosses. And those have to grant experience. So that would have worked if I had, um... 
If I had decided to, um... You know, time walking level that Rustor Shaman, that would have worked for that, but... There's a lot of bosses in Nighthold. <laughs> Do I need anything from here, all the things wise? Oh, I don't even have all the things enabled right now. Mm. Hazel, I made it! One million acorns, I'm rich! You're rich! Also, the real Maze Lady, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Catvis had a 25 month reset as well, thank you. Mm. A million acorns. A million. Hope you're having a good day. So, um, are you gonna gamble them all next time we do a Hearthstone stream? <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna risk it all for the biscuit? I'd like to thank my dogs. Uh, after alchemy theory? Depends on what you want to make. Um, oh, I'm not on my alchemist anymore, I can't show you. I did files following that and then potions, but... Um, it's all, there's similar amounts of gold in both of them. I liked going into File Mastery because I raid on that character as well and I do keys. And when you get into file crafting, you're, you get the longer duration files and that's just really nice. Um, I did that just for the quality of life and then I kept going to be able to make them profitably. But you give it enough time, you keep up with your profession knowledge and eventually you can cap it. Like eventually you'll be able to do everything. So it's not life or death if you if you do the wrong thing. You just gotta keep keep at it. Everything I've ever done has been risked for biscuits. Is this the OG main? This is the BFA main. This was the BFA. Yeah, she's had a name change. Um, she's no longer Hazel with a bunch of extra vowels. She's Inksy now because I thought that was cuter and easier to spell. She's yeah. I started playing this one. Well, she wasn't always a no. Well, was it this character? I don't know. <laughs> I've had a few different priests, and they've been. I've I've gone back and forth between gnome and human on priest. Um, the Shadowlands main was a human, like a different character. The iconic gnome. She probably won't read the name if you ask her to. You might try that. It depends on whether or not I read the name or I read the message first. <laughs> if you think there's an awful lot of oversight going into this process, you would be surprised. Excited or terrified of Tuesday in the new dungeons? Halls of Intuition is going to be a trip. I'm going to do some keys on Tuesday when servers come up. Um, just on my own time off stream. And I haven't really... It hasn't hit me... I haven't thought about it yet. I, I don't have room to process that until I'm done with raid guides. I'm going to finish raid guides and then I'm going to like, I don't know, yell from a mountain or like buy a cake or something. And then I'm going to take a long nap and a nice hot bath and I'm going to, you know, towel off and uh, make some cookies or something. I, I'm, I, I'm putting way too many things into this. There's not going to be time for all of this. But basically, after after Raid Guides, I'm going to reset my brain RAM, and then I can think about Season 2. Um, but until I'm finished them, there's no room for anything but avarice. <sighs> Always time for cookies. I gotta make muffins. I've been meaning to make muffins for days. Yesterday, my... my Un my, my unwind activity. I've been coming up with things I can do when taking breaks from editing that aren't just like gaming <laughs> or watching videos because those things will get lost in forever. I, I have no power to stop gaming or watching videos, especially if the alternative is like something more mentally taxing. So I've been, I've been trying out different things that I can do to take breaks without getting infinitely lost. Walks are good, but there's really only so many walks that you can take before your legs get tired and then... Um, I painted my nails yesterday. <laughs> I took a nail painting break. That was good. I think today um, there may be some intra guide muffins going on. If that doesn't take too long, I can I can crank out that batch of muffins pretty fast. I don't know why that sounds provocative. I can crank out a batch of muffins. It just means baking. <laughs> muffins isn't a euphemism, is it? I guess everything's a euphemism if you're if you're um, uh, in need enough. Show us the nails. Oh, I just made them. I just made them kind of, kind of like a teal, like a teal blue. They're just one color. Um, but I thought it was kind of a nice color. Oh, they won't focus at all. Uh, you can do it. You can do it. Center of the lens. 
uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I also trimmed them because they were too long and I don't like it when I can feel them on my keyboard. Baking a new hobby? New? No. Um, intermittent, I would say. I go through phases with baking. <laughs> Anything sounds lewd if you try, I suppose. Kind of muffins? Raisin bran again. Um, raisin bran. They're nice to have because they're like filling enough. They're nice to have like in my fridge and freezer. They're filling enough that they can serve as a, like emergency food. Like I can bring one on a hike or just to my desk or whatever and it will delay the need for me to figure out what I'm going to eat for an actual meal. You have to eat the meal eventually, but <laughs> the muffin buys you some time. <sighs> Isn't that part of why walks are good break? Because you can't do them forever. I just mean that if you've gone for like four or five, six walks in a day, the people that work at the local shops are going to start thinking that you're, I don't know, looking for something. <laughs> Clean today for six hours. Have a one bedroom flat. Oh, that is some deep cleaning. Holy moly. Hmm. Instant paste. All the rate plug rates I join. Aw. People in the shops will think no such thing. I just, sometimes you just don't want to go outside anymore. I don't want to put on my boots anymore. <laughs> I can strap those boots onto my feet X, Y, Z number of times in a day, and then I don't want to anymore. <sighs> I wonder if I had, like, a property with, like, a, like, land. If I would stock my grounds, you know? If I would, if I would patrol my, my perimeter. If I would, you know, haunt my moor. <laughs> Yeah, very, very Bronte. <laughs> what if you didn't take your shoes off in the first place? Inside the house! This is one of those countries where you take off your shoes in the house. It's too muddy to not. It is... Even, even on dry days? No. My floors get filthy and I don't wear my shoes inside. I have my slippers that I wear inside. And my floors still need to be cleaned like twice a week because it's just, it's a small place, so it's like really high traffic. I'm um, thinking about that all the time. <laughs> Haunting my farm. Making me want to play my gnome priest again. Ditch her for my void elf. Just want to suggest it. Mm. Do you wear your shoes inside? Not, I mean, I know I just, I know I just made a big stinky face and it sounds like I'm going to judge you. And I might. Um, but uh, I'm just, I'm just very curious. I know that in, in some parts of the States, it's quite normal to wear shoes inside. But where I lived in the Pacific Northwest... I don't know, it's muddy outside. <laughs> you don't want to track that onto your rugs. <sighs> no, uh, so it's a mythic now? Yeah, it's pretty reasonable to do even on alts in low gear as long as they have like some amount of catch-up gear. This character is item level 384 and she, she does just fine. <sighs> Grabbing something and leaving again a minute later. That is true, that is true. Sometimes like I'll forget something when I'm about to be out the door and I'm wearing the shoes and then I'll be like, oh, I just got to grab my water bottle or whatever and I'll, I'll just get the floor a little dirty for that. Except when I'm on vacation and it is common here. Mm. But I have, um, I also can't just walk around in socks all the time because I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> so I, I have, I have like slippers with like proper soles and insulation on them. I'm, when I get older, I might be one of those people that wears just like orthopedic shoes inside the house, but they have like a special pair that never go outside. That might be the move. <sighs> Young, they make the rules. Don't wear my shoes inside. Just wear my inside slippers. I love slippers. <laughs> slippers are very... Slippers are an important part of my life. <laughs> I mean that. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with these ones. These ones have held up very well. They're... They're... How, how old are these now? 20, 21, 2, 3. They're two years old now, which doesn't sound that old, but I wear them day in and day out, and for them to not have any holes in them is pretty impressive. Non muddy shoes can see both sides. They still track a lot of dirt, though. I don't know. I'm a, I'm very much a shoes off, shoes off in the house person. Although I don't really have like a lot of company over, so <laughs> it's not like I have. Um, I used to visit some relatives as a kid, and they would have like guest slippers basically that you could wear if you were visiting um you would take off your shoes but you know they didn't want you to have cold feet so you would you would get some guest slippers out of the basket and you'd put those on what i do is when i'm visiting um if i'm gonna go hang out with a family member at their place 
I actually bring my slippers with me <laughs> so that I can take off my shoes, put on my slippers, and then wear them around their house. Um, and that didn't strike me as strange until just now when I said it out loud. I don't think it's that strange, but it is a little bit weird. My slippers are huge, so I bring a big tote bag that basically is mostly contained with my slippers. Um, and then I'll just put them on and make myself at home. Um, pet battle out on rematch and pet battle scripts. Should be links to both of them in the add on spreadsheet. Memory foam or whatever. I have put gel insoles into my slippers. Um, I hadn't for a long time, but I started having foot pain as well. So I googled about it and then I realized I just needed a little more cushioning, but also some better arch support. So I got some just drugstore gel insoles and I cut them to size and I put them inside my slippers and chef's kiss. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Bring our own slippers to friend's house. Dress codes, PJs and slippers. <sighs> Guess slippers can be gross. It sounds grosser than it turned out to be. I don't know. People would wear socks with them. You wouldn't be putting bare feet into them. And it's not like you're exercising in them or anything. They're just kind of on. Uh, would you wear slippers in somebody's house if people wear shoes in that house? Ooh. Um. I guess not. I guess if everybody else was wearing shoes, I would also wear shoes. But it's a theoretical question because that's never happened to me. <laughs> I've, it's, it's, at least in Canada, I've never been to somebody's place and had them be like, leave your shoes on. It's just, it's never, ever, ever come up. And I know I don't get out that much, but I have been, I have visited people. <laughs> Bowling shoes gross, same principle. Mm. Or like rented skates. I don't know, it doesn't freak me out that much, but maybe that's just because I don't, at the risk of oversharing, I don't have wildly sweaty feet. Um, I have to I have to be extremely warm or exercising really hard to have like sweaty, any kind of sweaty feet. And then also, you know, you like clean them in the shower and whatever. <sighs> Let's stop talking about feet. Some people don't like it. <laughs> some people, some people get deeply, deeply uncomfortable. And I, I don't blame them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with something else. What else did I have conversation topic-wise? Sometimes I have ideas. Oh, I thought of a joke like way too late. Um, somebody recently asked me if I'd watched the coronation or if I'd gone to the coronation or something like that. And I just said no. But then I thought like half an hour later, I was like, what I should have said, and it, it wasn't funny enough to justify all this work up, was that well, I would have, but, you know, his highness didn't come to my birthday. <laughs> I, I didn't get any cards for Christmas. I don't think we're really friends. <laughs> so I'm not going to his party. Uh, we're going back the way we came. It, it wasn't that funny, but um, the fact that I thought of it and then didn't say it has caused it to stick in my mind. And I'm hoping now that it's out there that I can move on. Uh, you think this was a good response? Yes, <laughs> very much so. In my mind, I sold it better. Um, yes. Did you think it was funny? <laughs> Tell us about the raisin muffin. Yeah, um, Google, here, let me see if it's Googleable first. Google Rogers Raisin Bran, actually just Rogers Bran Muffin recipe. Are you good? You itchy? Classic brand muffins, Rogers Foods, because the, the, not oat bran. Yeah, Roger, Rogers Wheat brand muffins. It's the recipe that's on the back of the Rogers brand package. I don't know if that's a brand that's available outside of Canada, but you can Google the recipe anywhere. Um, they're, they're quite good. I put pumpkin seeds into them and pumpkin seeds on the top, and then I put raisins in them too. <sighs> Kitty, what's going on? You look like you're up to something. You good? You just itchy? You look annoyed. <laughs> I'll let you think about it. Uh, we're going this way. <laughs> they switched the last mob pack in Freehold, now pulls with Harlan. Oh, thank goodness. I hated, hated fighting that fighting that boss in a teeny tiny little corner because nobody wants to fight the last pack with the boss or last pack in general 
So you everybody has to has to suck in their tummies and slide along the wall and don't trip and don't fall and oh my gosh, I hated that. <laughs> Just kill the trash and make it go away so you have some room. Um That pull was so stressful. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it's a spicy trash pack, but I just, um, I don't really like skips that are super, super tight, um, aggro radius wise anyways. I just, um, I have a tendency to find microscopic rocks to trip on and like my character will walk up it and it'll walk off the other end. And I didn't even realize there was an elevation change, but all of a sudden my character is falling in like a diagonal 45 degree angle. Um, just... <laughs> sideways into the trash and I I uh, I've never been very good at having super tight control of my character's positioning. I'm I can I can do okay, but whenever it's really important it's a problem. Cats are royally cute. Thank you. Kitty, you're trying to groom your back bunny feet while you're perched on a chair arm. That's extremely brave. Are you sure? Hi. Hmm. I thought I read Heritage Armor Without Exalted. I read that also, but I read it in Twitch chat. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually seen anything yet of it. Owie, <laughs> ouchie, my my feet. <sighs> it's not the first time I've heard that though. Got the heritage quest at friendly. Mm. That's good then. It was it wasn't a hard thing to do to catch up the rep because you were able to do it with them. Um, well, it wasn't a hard thing to do to catch up the rep for the old races anyways because you could do it with the cataclysm tabards. I guess the newer ones might have been might have been more more of a more of a thing. <sighs> Saves a little bit of time. How do you think he gets so ripped when he just like treads water all the time? Do you think he's got like weights he can lift out here? <sighs> How can you not have your spells in the center? You can put your bars wherever you want with edit mode. <laughs> you can you can you can put them on the left. You can put them on the right. You could uh, you could put them in all four corners of the screen. That would that would make people have some feelings. Up we go. I like having them um, somewhat nestled against my chat box and then to some extent against my um, camera window in my stream interface. <laughs> Aquarobics. <laughs> Swimming all day. But does 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 Aquafit give you like the, the shoulders and the triceps? <laughs> I always thought that swimming gave you like a very like healthy and strong but like lean body. Anything new in Darkmoon Fair this patch? That's a good question. I haven't heard of anything. Oh, we got Night Spire. Have you seen swimmers? I guess not. I guess I'm thinking of I'm when I'm thinking Aquafit, I'm thinking of like the the classes at like the the, the community center. Trampoline. Trampolines um, frighten me. <laughs> Anything vaguely gymnastic I've just accepted is just um, for people that have better control over their bodies than I do. And you would assume that doing it would give you better control over your body and that's like part of the point. And maybe that's true, but <laughs> I, uh, and I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I don't bounce back the same way when I <laughs> bend something. You just bounce. You are overestimating my ability to not fall weird. I managed to to roll an ankle dismounting off of a climbing wall. Not even from terribly high up, and it took about a year and a half for it to stop her. <laughs> it seems fine now, actually, which is nice. I can go for a run and it doesn't bother me anymore, but it, it took over a year for that thing to stop yelling at me about it. Hmm. People with particular body types more attracted to certain kinds of exercise. Oh. He's on green juice, gets you ripped. <laughs> oh, weird follower, share the curse. 
I was just new and I had like watched a short YouTube video and my friends had told me basically just, you know, fall backwards off the wall and kind of roll onto your back, it'll be fine. And I knew that logically, but I'd never done it before and I hadn't like practiced from a low, from a low height or anything. I just kind of figured, I don't know, <laughs> no one's worried about this, I'll just do it when I get up there. And it's just a, it's a, it's a bit of a panicky thing to do if you're not used to it. This give the ethereal portal twitch drop. Yeah! Oh! Knocked my straw. Yeah. We got drops here. The ethereal portal is available for a couple more days. This is the last of my streams that's a, that's up for it. I won't be streaming tomorrow. This character feels old. And hello. Hello. How are you? Time is at quarter after ten. Cat would be walking on the keyboard, chewing on the mic cord now. Sometimes she will like rub her chin and her face on the um, the shock mount for my microphone, and to some extent the cord a little bit. She mostly doesn't bother trying to get on my desk anymore because every time she did, I would just move her off of it. Um, but she's she's really cute. She likes to just hang out near me. She likes to just kind of sit in my general vicinity. So like if I'm cooking, sometimes she'll just kind of go sit like right outside the kitchen and just like hang out there. <laughs> um, so she'll she'll come and go a little bit, but she'll even if I'm just like sitting here editing something, she'll she'll just come perch up on on my chair. This is also how she lets me know that she's coming to get me for bed is if I'm still in my office and it's very late at night, she will kind of wander back in and hop up on my lap and come sit here. And then if I stay for too long, then she will go meow, and then just like look at me and be like, Mom, <laughs> it's bedtime, what are you doing? But she's very polite about it, you know, she, she gives me some time. It's like a gentle sunrise and alarm clock situation. <laughs> she thinks she's people. She is! <laughs> oh, there we go, four echoes at time. Is you doing this in a demon hunter to have a chance for the toy to drop something that's not going to happen? Assuming that the mount drops before I get around to wanting a demon hunter, then that is a correct assumption. <laughs> if this mount somehow doesn't drop for like years and I somehow separately have the urge to level a demon hunter and then I'm just setting up my alts to, um, to farm stuff, that's when that would happen, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Got Gmod today after farming nonstop. Oh, congrats! <sighs> golden is this this it? The Golden Hearthstone card for Lord Juraxis? Is that the Demon Hunter thing, or is that just for anybody? Anyway, hi Golden. How you doing? How you been? Good to see you. He's been drinking the, the green juice. DH toys the skull of Gul'dan. Oh, okay. What does it do? What do you do with it? You like drink from it? That would be worth it. A toy that changes your animation when you're drinking to drinking out of a skull. That's what we need. There's a new category of toys for you. Healers worldwide will rejoice. <laughs> Throw on a cosmetic toy gives you an hour long buff whenever you're drinking. Your character has like a wine glass or like a, I don't know, you could, you could do all kinds of different things. That would be fun. <laughs> Those are the two options. Wine glass or skull of Gul'dan. <laughs> Mythic Mount, you think so? All right. They just kneel and stare at it. Oh. I think I made my DPS spec worse. Yeah, 
That's okay. Do the do. Nothing. Let's run it back. We got another. We got one more character to do this on. Hey, I want to use my ethereal portal to get out of here. This is the uh, the Twitch drop cosmetic Hearthstone. Isn't that awesome? Need the dance studio to personalize animations. Oh, welcome, Drummond. I'm glad you like the videos. Why can't you use Devouring Plague? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it like never lit up, did it? Am I not specced into it? I am specced into it. Maybe I just didn't have enough insanity. It was very strange. I'll take it. It's fine, though. <laughs> The, uh, the nice thing is that next week I will be able to turn in that skip quest. I will not have to. I will not have to. Oh, which, oh hang on. Bring, give me one of those back. Give me that back. I apparently haven't uh, learned that appearance yet. I need to turn Can I Maga back on. <laughs> it's dangerous to be vendoring stuff without it. Crinkle can learn that helmet. How's my all the things percentage on this character anyway? If I just look at my general all the things for, for priest and cloth, it's going to be higher than it is for male. But not crazy. Yeah, we're down... It used to be up up close to 80%. Dragonflight did some damage to me. I'm at 74.99%. If I collect another two things on priest, I'll be up to 75. Oy. I'm never getting them all. Never. Not happening. <laughs> not lighting up anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah, the mail items seem to be seem to be a bug of some kind. You will get all of the things? I don't think so. Some of them are some of them are mean. <laughs> some of them suck. I think I will enjoy spending time getting lots of the things and then and then that seems to be the thing. It's more about the journey. There's another thing. I get more things every day, but there's so many of them, right? Like Let's turn it on in this character. Especially if you if you consider trying to do it for all armor types. Which I didn't used to worry about, but now I've kind of been, you know, checking in and collecting collecting stuff on uh, different different alts. So for plate, for warrior, I only have collected 53% of the things, which actually is pretty good considering that I never play plate. Um, and that warriors can use all different kinds of weapons. What do you want me to have? They have fishing tools in here, but you can't actually mog them. It's kind of annoying. They don't actually get added to your appearance collection. Okay, we're going to Nighthold. That's right. New add-on. A reasonable amount of the things. Could you look at a cat white? Yeah, I should. Kitty Cat's name is Kira. K-I-R-A. But she also goes by Kitty. Kitty Cat. Honey plum, sugar bun, muffin, <laughs> lots of things. Sometimes you gotta come up with some new ones. Um, oh, I was gonna. I wanted to see. Ah, <laughs> jeez. Oh, ah, jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm sure I have to reload and load it up again. Sugar bun and all yet. Yeah. <laughs> Kira from Death Note? Yeah, pretty much. She is, um, she is nine years old, and at the time when I was adopting her, I was actually just re-watching Death Note, so... <laughs> that's, that's how that happened. Hi. <sighs> Maybe I'll just leave it on this number. Account mode. Account unique mode. 51.17%. There's 102,619 things that I am tracking. Because if I look at all the things I am currently tracking... Let's see here. Of the stuff that I want, anyways. Uh, illusions, mounts, pets, toys. I'm not worrying about achievements, or quests, or recipes, or reps, or titles, actually. I threw Drake Watcher manuscripts in there. Yeah. Hmm. 
yeah, so 50, half, half, I have half of the things. <laughs> Cat only responds to Chunk now after calling her that for so long. Oh, as long as you call them in time to eat. Yeah, she is my only pet, or my only mammal. I have some fish and a snail, but they, uh, they're more, more visual. And so if I'm, if I'm, if I'm talking in, in, in the pet voice, she knows I'm talking to her. She knows, she knows when we're, when we're chatting. Hi. Hi. Although sometimes I feel like I use the baby voice at her and she's like, Mom, I'm nine. <laughs> I am considerably smarter than you. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> she's um I swear she's a she's a person inside of a cat. She's a there's a little there's a little life coach in there. 20k things that you're not tracking. Oh, the like quests and achievements and stuff. Yeah. They just don't think of I really think of that. I could maybe maybe see an argument for adding titles to that, but quests and achievements and like flight paths and stuff, they just don't strike me as collectibles. I don't know. You could call her Kira, the ancient Egyptian cat god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> kitty, you're kitty cat. Hey. If I ever get another cat, it's going to be deeply confusing because they're both going to be kitty cat. <laughs> they're all going to be kitty cat. Baby voice, what they respond to best. Yeah, I don't know. There's, I'm sure there's some kind of research. I think that one day when I end up with more pets, it's going to be a bit of a shock for me because I've had this one for so long. Her and I have lived together for so long. See you later. That we we understand each other pretty well and we communicate pretty well and we've gotten very used to and adapted to each other because we spend all day every day together um, and we check in a lot. <laughs> we're, we're, we're quite close. And when I get a new pet eventually or another pet, you know, I'm going to be meeting them for the first time and I'm not going to have all of these years of history to rely on when trying to uh, figure out what they want or how they're doing or, or you know, vice versa. And I think it's going to be a bit odd because right now I feel like the cat whisperer because because I have a pretty good read on what, well, sometimes she just wants to talk. I think she wants to see if I want to finish streaming and I do not yet. <laughs> it's only 10.30. But right now I feel like the cat whisperer and then one day I'm going to get like another cat and I'm going to be like, oh, <laughs> nope, that was just me and Kira. I have, I have no actual special powers and uh, I'm going to have to get to know new cat uh, from scratch and they're going to be different. They're going to have a different personality because they're all individuals and, uh, I, you know, right now I've got a sample size of one. Uh, you know what? I have not seen Men in Black. <laughs> Youngest one gets to be kitten until another cat shows up. I know he's saying it ironically, but that stuff scares me. Person who is a cat. If it was frightening to you, then you would not like living with her. <laughs> because she does some things or has some manner about her that make me think that she's thinking like a person. Like she'll... She'll... What a, what are, what's an example? Usually I feel like she's trying to help me. No, I'm just projecting. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit spooky sometimes, but then again, I, like I said, I've spent, I spent so much time with her that I'm very much projecting. Doesn't read difficulty. There we go. For something like watching TV or movies, like she wants to hang out with you and watch them with you, which is great. But like, she'll reach a point where she'll be like, okay, you watch this one get up now <laughs> like she doesn't she won't let you just veg out infinitely um she will she will cuddle and you'll have a very nice time and then she'll be like all right that's it And if you try to like watch something else you try to like play next episode she's gonna sit on the coffee table and she's blind so i don't know if she figures this out but she's gonna sit on the coffee table and try to figure out exactly how to get into your eye line so that you can't comfortably watch television anymore and then kind of look at you until you realize that she's right and you really should get up and do something else um or like this meowing behavior to stop me from staying in one spot for like a terribly long time. Like she'll meow me into my office or she'll like come sit in my chair before I get here to be like, it's time for you to be here now. But when she thinks that it's time for me to be done, which isn't, it's not like it's around her schedule. She's, you know, she's got her everything that she needs 
access to right now. She doesn't need me for anything in particular aside from my guest attention, but if she really wanted to hang out, she could come back and lay in my lap, you know? She's very committed to the schedule in a way that feels very human, you know? You wouldn't think a cat would care about your schedule that much. <laughs> At least when it didn't pertain to them and their food, anyways. Hmm. Ocean spooky, but cool. Mm. I'd say the way that she shows up to get her teeth brushed in the evening, but that's just because she's just a real sweet girl. <laughs> she'll, uh, when she thinks it's bedtime, she'll sit on the bath mat in the bathroom because that's where she waits while I brush my teeth, because once I'm done with my teeth, I always brush her teeth. And, uh, but that's just, you can explain that with training because she just likes the taste of the toothpaste. And every time I brush her teeth, I give her some, some dental treats after um, to thank her for letting me um, stick a toothbrush in her mouth. <laughs> I appreciate that. And uh, she knows it. Hmm. All right, guys, except last boss before Tuesday. Yep, that's the one. And then the last boss is going to be heaven knows how long. Because I got to get there first with my guild. And then I got to get some footage. And then I have to actually, like, talk myself into doing it again. Which apparently, historically, has been hard. <laughs> There's something in my brain that happens when I'm, like, finished raid guides. Where I just do not want to touch them again. But you got to go back in for just one more. But it's always a big one. But yeah, everything except for Sarkareth, um before Tuesday when the raid comes out. And then uh, and then Sarkareth will happen when it happens. But, you know, I'm going to try and have it be sooner than it, sooner than the gap was last time. We'll see. <laughs> Spooky, thank you for the 10-month resub. Love hearing my cats aren't the only particular ones. Twin orange boys have some of the craziest routines. <laughs> It's one of my favorite things. I feel like the, 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 the apartment would feel so weird without a cat here. Or like, I don't know. I just need animals. <laughs> I like them too much. I like people too. Um, I like people too. I'm, I'm in a relationship. I have a, I have a partner. I spend time with them. It's very nice. But, but you gotta, you gotta have the cat around. <sighs> New dragon riding appearance drop from raids, really cool. Glad it's on another dragon. Uh, already beat up Sarkareth during the story quest. He was easy. The guy should be brief. <laughs> That's true, actually. I remember um, getting to getting to the Sarkareth point in uh, in the campaign quests and thinking to myself, um, "Wow, that was fine. <laughs> that was all right. I did like two things." Uh, no luck on the Cronus illusion there. How am I doing on, um, I never did do the math. How am I doing on the Traveler's Log? Another four, nine, no, not quite. <laughs> I mean, I have all month. I have all month. I just, <laughs> I want the turtle. It's a cool turtle. I know I'm going to get it eventually. It's not like I need to have it right now. Like, what am I going to do? Did I know that it had cannons on it? Did you know that it had cannons on it? Ah. Does said partner have any cats? <sighs> said partner um, gets along quite well with Kira, as it happens. Um, but no, no, no separate pets. Blastoise. Oh yeah, it is very Blastoise. I didn't think of that. Also, I think I'm just now realizing why Blastoise is called Blastoise. Are you saying the turtle's canon? Oh, man. If it only had lined up with April Fool's Day, I could have released a guide based on that fight. Oh, that would have been funny. Turtle is very slow. Is it like a super slow mount? I guess it is a turtle. Turtle's too slow to chase down your foes? Just add cannons. Nothing can outrun a cannon. <laughs> oh. 
It's like the OG turtle mount. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Does it swim fast at least? <laughs> hmm. I had some thoughts. I was looking through pictures. Nanny, thank you for the 47 month reset. Thank you for your positive vibes. Thank you for yours, shucks. Watermelon, nod nod. Oh, okay. I was looking through some old pictures of me and I was reminiscing about different different hair colors. And I almost got the urge again <laughs> to dye my hair. Not like professionally, but just when I used to do it myself. In my memory, when I used to dye my hair myself, it was like a big mess, but I was looking back at the pictures and it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was. And then with really short hair, it's like less of a commitment because you can always just kind of like shave it off and start over again. But um, I, the one thing I don't want to mess with anymore <laughs> is dyeing my hair in a rental place and then having to be so vigilant. And I mean, you would probably still care if it was your house, but like, about cleaning up any dripped, spilled dye. Uh, you kind of have to accept that your towels are gonna get ruined, your pillowcase is gonna get stained. My hair is very porous, so it doesn't hold on to color no matter what kind of color it is. So you have to, if you're gonna put any color into it, you gotta accept that it's gonna come out. Um, and then also with the really short hair, there's a risk that if I dye it pink or something like that, it might be fun and it's a pretty low, it would be not too bad to do at home, but it would, um, it carries the risk that I might look like a SoundCloud rapper <laughs> when I'm done. <sighs> oh, what color were you thinking? I was missing pink. I also miss green, but I think that with the very short hair, if I dyed it like a forest green, I'm going to look like a vegetable. <laughs> Wash it in the kitchen sink and I own my house. That's actually not a bad idea. Um, that's not a bad idea at all. <laughs> SoundCloud rapper. You know what I mean, right? Um, <laughs> you know, you know the look that I, that I, that I mean. <sighs> yeah. The sink is blue, bed is blue. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's definitely a mess. Mm. Maybe I would make that a thing. I would, I would be like, listen, when I save up my pennies and I buy my own house, then I will dye my- well, I guess then I'll probably be busy like moving and stuff and, you know, stressed about having a mortgage, but <laughs> you make a goal and then you, you do it then and then you, and then you dye the hair. <sighs> How goes your weekend? It's going okay. It is a weekend. I actually had completely forgotten that it was Sunday today. Um, and we're doing, we're doing all right. I'm, I'm firmly in the, in the grip of my, of my, uh, biannual raid guide crunch. Um, so I've been I've been pulling at all the stops to try and corral my own attention to to get to get not a lot. I don't want to make it sound like too much. They, these are short videos. They're not hard. <laughs> They're not hard. I just uh, have some issues with um, my attention and ability to like sit down and do something. So uh, I've been I've been working working through that. <sighs> I'll get done in time. It's just a question of how much how much, if any, free time I get after I'm done before the season starts. If I'm just an absolute monster today, I could have tomorrow off, but I don't think that's likely. I think I would do a, a decent chunk today, have a decent chunk to do tomorrow, and then take Tuesday off, because it'll be downtime anyways. <sighs> Taking a dye break of my hair. Want to see how gray it actually is. Mine is... um. I mean, it doesn't show up that much on camera, which I guess is something, but I have a pretty astonishing amount of gray hair for my age. I know that it's just genetic and that I've, I started graying very early. Um, I found my first gray hairs when I was like 14. So I know it's not, it's not that I'm like crazy stressed or anything. It's just kind of how I am now, but <laughs> I really like, I knew I had plenty of them when I had long hair, but then I cut it and then it started growing back and I was like looking, you can see more of your hair more of your individual ones. It's not when it's when it's short like this. And it's like, wow, I really am. A <laughs> I'm really, really getting getting a little silver. New haircut, like it? Thank you. <laughs> it's wildly convenient. <laughs> I was also looking back at all the different hairstyles I used to do, and I was and I was thinking, well, this one was nice, but it was so much work. <laughs> It's so, especially once you get used to not having to deal with long hair, it's so hard to imagine going back to it. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't think, I don't, I'm not in the mood for it yet. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be in the mood for it. <sighs> Compare Dragonflight to your favorite WoW X pack. Dragonflight might be my favorite WoW X pack. There's certainly things about it that are, that are top for me. Haven't seen my natural color in a decade. Oh, I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. I also really like um, natural silver hair and I like, um, I like it when it's kind of mixed in. I think it looks very nice. I say as I talk about dyeing my hair pink, but <laughs> not so much to cover up the grays, it's just that, you know, pink is fun. Hi. Started going gray about 32-ish. Pink would look good. <laughs> I'm gonna come out looking like I'm about to start rapping in triplets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Do 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 do. How did washing your hair feel the first time with short hair? Uh, euphoric. <laughs> it was it was a spiritual experience. It was cr it was wild. I had never had really short hair when I cut it. Like ever in my life that I like in my in my memory. And I'm 30 and I'd spent all those years nursing a, a frizzy mop and um and being able to just kind of like <laughs> it was just it was just so weird it, it's nice it's really nice uh why did i cut it i uh, i didn't want it anymore <laughs> i wanted to have less hair i wanted there to be not as much of it attached to my head i was just I was just tired of looking after it and I wasn't feeling good in it anymore. And I was thinking a lot about the reasons, because I'd, I'd, I'd talked for a long time to myself about how I, one day I wanted to cut it short. And then I kept, and then I asked myself, well, why, why not now? Because <laughs> in the, in the hypothetical, it was always like, well, one day when I'm old and no one cares about how I look. And then I thought, well, why do you care now? <laughs> you want short hair? Go cut off your hair. You know, like, who are you trying to impress? Calm down. It's not that big a deal. It's just hair. Um, if you don't want it, you can make it go away. It's not very expensive. Also, saving money. Um, saving money and saving a little bit of space in the drawers and time in the morning is nice. Do you miss it? No. <laughs> not even a little bit. <sighs> not even, not even, no. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like an uncomfortable job that sometimes physically hurt, that was expensive and fussy, that nobody paid me for that sometimes didn't even go very well. It was, it was, it wasn't working out for me. Um, I, I'm glad I did all the different things with my hair in my twenties that I did. And I'm glad I have like photos and memories of all of them. And I like to look back through it and be like, oh, this was fun or that looked really nice. But um, it's all a lot of money and upkeep, especially when your natural hair texture doesn't take to it. I might've, I might've felt differently if I had had just naturally smooth, straight hair. Um, or just naturally smooth hair in general. Um, but I got, I got, I got big old frizzy curls and they do not play nicely no matter what you do. This is, this is low maintenance for curly hair. <laughs> you, you go on YouTube and you look at some low maintenance curly hair routines and, um, they're still involving a good amount of doing stuff. Shaved heads suit most people better than they expect as well. Yeah, I was quite worried before I cut my hair that I was gonna look, that I was gonna have like a weird shaped head. And that's something that I've heard from a lot of people is I've heard quite often, oh, I would do, I would love to do that too, but I think I have a weird shaped head. And um, I don't think as many of us have weird shaped heads as we think we do. <laughs> but it's also um, one of those things where if you do have regrets or you do change your mind, hair doesn't grow very fast. And unless you wanna get into wigs, it's gonna be a long time before you have long hair again. Um, I haven't trimmed it recently. I did a real close shave. I shaved it down to like a buzz cut one at the end of March, early April. And I say I have about one to 1.2 centimeters of hair right now. Um, I'm a, like a little, little, little fuzzy, but it's still pretty tight. If you wanted to like actually grow it out like long again, you're looking at, depending on how fast your hair grows, you're looking at a long time. And you're looking at some awkward in-between stages. So it just depends on, on you. Uh, did you see Fan Dreamcast for WoW Movie? Did I see Fan Dreamcast for WoW Movie? I know some of those words. No, I don't. I think the answer is no. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Pinchuk, thank you for the 30 month reset. Happy Sunday. 30 months. It's almost like my sub is a real adult now. <laughs> is 30 a real adult? Oh man, my mom will be so proud. In two months, mine's ridiculously long, three inches. Mine does, I feel like my hair does grow quite quickly, but um, it certainly isn't showing it right now. You can tell when it's like really short, like going, like when you, when you buzz it down to a one, within a week you can see like a pretty big difference, but then the three to four weeks after that, it's basically just kind of like this. Uh, Croesus, Croesus. Uh, no links, no links. My hairdresser complains my hair grows too fast. Uh, super thick, no idea what she means. No, it just means that you have um, high density of hair. Lots of it. Beard grows faster than the hair in my head does. Can be annoying. I really like it. Oh, thanks. It's very comfy. It's so nice being able to dry it very quickly. Um, with, with curly hair, there's a lot of guidance on how you should and should not dry it. Because if you take a big old towel and you take a big wet head of curly hair and you go... You're going to... Um, you're going to become the Swamp Witch, which is a look, but um, it's, that's a good way to get some frizz. So there's a lot of guidance of, you know, you're going to use this type of towel or this type of t-shirt and you're going to gently lean forward and then lower your hair onto the t-shirt. And then you are like, there's plopping and there's like these silk towels and there's, you know, like the diffuser hair dryers and there's, you know, wrapping up in like different like thingies and then braiding it and then sleeping. And there's like a, a bunch of different ways to dry your hair, but none of them are fast. <laughs> And none of them are um, no work. They're all some work. And when my hair is this short, I can really just kind of like squeeze it with my regular towel. And then it's dry like five minutes later. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm so excited for this summer because I want to actually like go swimming in lakes and not be worried about my hair getting all dry and tangled and be like, oh, well, I had a wash day on Tuesday. I don't want to get it wet until Thursday. Like, just, just, just go swimming. Just go in the lake. Live your life. <sighs> Uh, do you think in the future you'll look at it as an era? Start your buzz cut journey. I guess it depends on how long it lasts and whether or not I ever grow it out like long again. Um, I could see myself growing it out to try like different different short lengths, but um, the nice thing about keeping it short is that if you ever get sick of it and you're like, this is this is silly and I don't like it anymore, you just boom, <laughs> log on. No more hair. Hmm. Soak up the smell of lake water. Yeah, but you can shower and like wash it later in like 10 seconds. And also how smelly are your lakes? <laughs> of course you shower after you get home, but like it's not that, it's, they're not that bad. I guess it depends on where you're swimming. Mm. <laughs> Try a shag. I had something a bit like that. I had kind of like a curly bob, like a really fluffy curly bob that was a bit shaggy before this. And it was cute when it was styled nicely and when it was at the exact right length, but it was growing too fast and it was a bit too, it was, I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't quite, I wasn't feeling it. It was a bit too hard. I liked it a lot whenever I got it right, but then whenever it didn't turn out the way that I liked it, I would just be like, well, you can try again in three days. Like, it's just too, too low of a success rate, I think. Did I do enough bosses? <laughs> Am I getting to the end of this? I think I'm getting to the end of this. <sighs> Curly Bob sounds like the name of a hillbilly. Mm. <laughs> Earchi, I'm gonna let that one slide, but only because it's you. <sighs> I'm a fan of um, DIYing haircuts though. I have had professional haircuts. I've had a professional curly haircut, and then I used to have an excellent um, hairdresser who would, who would give me great haircuts whenever Whenever, um, you know, like in exchange for money, it was like a, <laughs> it wasn't like a free thing, but I would, um, I like, I like it whenever I'm able to trim my hair at home. Back when I used to do straight bangs, I would just trim them at home with scissors because they would grow out pretty quickly and you weren't, you weren't going to be at the salon every single week. So I've liked it whenever I'm able to just kind of like touch it up because sometimes just a little trim to, you know, dust off some, some split ends. And also I haven't seen a split end in a long time. Well, trim to dust off some split ends and just kind of like shape it up feels really good, but you can't, you can't be going to the salon all the time. Or at least I, I don't know, it's a lot of, a lot of going out, a lot of money. So I like being able to, to try things and to kind of maintain it at home. Um, Cause then you get that like fresh haircut feeling without having to go anywhere. <sighs> Cute curly boyish hair. I am very, one of the reasons that I haven't gotten around to cutting it yet 
re- in, like in the last month is I want to see at what point does it start having noticeable curls. Like if you look at it close up, it's kind of sort of wavy, but it's not. Um, I want to know how long it has to get. It's probably like a three month mark, maybe maybe more, where it starts actually looking like curly on my head. Maintaining bangs like maintaining a mustache. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. <laughs> Too frizzy no matter what I do. Always comes back. Yeah, I have a million and one tips. And sometimes you get everything right and it's perfect and it's beautiful. The biggest tip that I had for when I was wearing my hair curly is I just had to kind of learn to not mind the frizz too much. <laughs> sometimes you're going to have a great hair day and then sometimes it's going to be kind of frizzy because that's what your hair does. It's okay, you know. Whose idea was it to have non-frizzy hair anyways? As long as it doesn't hurt too bad and you can like get your... You can put it where you need to. I don't know. I was having kind of a conflict in that I really wanted to wear my hair naturally curly because I wanted to embrace my natural curls. I wanted to be true to myself and how I, you know, what what nature gave me. And I didn't want to just, you know, have to blast my hair with hot irons in order to fit like a society standard. That didn't feel very good. But then I also wasn't... Um, it was It was quite hard to achieve the results I was looking for with it being curly. And I tried a couple different styles. I don't know. Maybe sure it'll be good. <laughs> maybe I'll do maybe I'll do just big poofy hair on top like a like a golden doodle. Uh Lord Reblick, thank you for the 22 month reset. <laughs> Stick straight hair gets frizzy and fluffy. Mm. I used to see pictures of, like, celebrities and stuff at, like, award shows and whatever, and I would be like, man, they must be using a really good shampoo. Because I'd never heard of a blow dryer, I guess. <laughs> I'd never heard of, like, having your hair blown out. I didn't know that was a thing. I just thought that the really rich people must have really good shampoo and that they can just shampoo, conditioner, towel, air dry, and then have, like, the long flowing perfectly waved locks that you would see like on TV or at, a, at like a award show or something like that, you know, on American Idol. And, um, and it took me like a long time to figure out that that's not how hair works. <laughs> it's like not realistic to expect to have television levels. Of, I mean, some people are just gifted and just have smooth hair naturally, but it's, uh, there's, there's a fair amount of doing that goes into the really, really shiny and smooth looking hair. It doesn't come out of most people like that. And I didn't know that. I just thought I was doing it wrong. I just thought I didn't have the right shampoo. I put it on the right difficulty. Yeah, I did. Okay. For a second, I'm like, Illidan? Hello? Where are you, bud? You coming? I don't think the Gul'dan mounts fly. I think they're like the, the mount collecting infernal. The blue, the frost shard one. Hey, y'all. Hello, Willa. How you doing? All right. What's my big cooldown plan? I guess I can use recklessness or avatar, actually. One of them should proc the other one. No warriors are fun, because they, they really mean it, you know? <laughs> One mount, please. Do -do -do. Nothing. Oh well, we got our skip done. So next week, uh, next week it'll be the beginning of season two. But we should be able to have time to just kind of nip in here and crank out crank out four gold and kills because I have four characters with skip quest now. Shut GB, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Side buzz, but the growing out phase worries me. When you have it at different lengths like that, I can see growing out taking quite a lot of doing because your hair would be at different lengths as it grows out. Oh, if you can if you could stomach it long enough and then you can cut it all to the same length, then that would that would make it more even, but there's also different ways you can style it and like clip it and pin it back and 
put it up and stuff that can kind of cover that. Got tired of your hair? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's also a long time ago. Um, I know we're, we're just chatting about it, but, um, I cut my hair in, like, January. <laughs> it is, it has been, it has been a couple of months now. It has been, like, coming up on half a year. Time really flies. <sighs> Good mount week for me. Got Undasta, Normal Gul'dan, Blue Proto Drake. Nice. That is a really good mount week. Holy smokes. Mm. 80s mullets back in style. Watching, um, I mean, I guess this city's kind of cool in that I wouldn't say that there's like one overarching fashion in Victoria. And I guess this is probably true in a lot of places. And it's just that in modern times, the internet and like micro niches have kind of made it so that there's less of one overarching trend and more of like many, many different like micro trends. But this city, I mean, you're gonna get plenty of people that are just kind of like wearing their clothes, just like normal, normal looking clothes. But there's not like one really strong um, sort of trend that anybody I would feel like feels like they should fit into, I don't think. It's more that everybody just kind of wears whatever they want. Um, there's nothing that you really see anybody wearing that really raises eyebrows unless they're like mostly nude. And even then it's not because of the nudity, it's because it's like, aren't you cold? <laughs> it's kind of breezy. I know it's sunny yet, but it's kind of breezy today. Uh, where was I going with that? I had some thought, there was something to do with that statement. Oh, um, but it's fun to see different, different revival styles come back. Cause there is quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of like nostalgia, nostalgia trends kicking around. I wear a lot of, I wear a lot of like 90s and 2000s stuff um, because it's extremely comfy and I like it. Do they speak French in Victoria? Some people, not very many. You will encounter more people speaking um, other languages than you will coming across somebody speaking French. Because um, we're, we're, we're real far from Quebec here. Um, in some settings, you'll still have like, you know, like the fairy voiceover and whatever, but... It is, uh, generally, generally pretty, pretty English. I'm, two dudes at work with mullets. I have so much respect. I, I don't know. It just makes me happy when I see like a big curly mullet and like a mustache. Um, it's just, you know, somebody that's like really, they've really gone for it. Why does it still show me that I haven't collected that? That's weird, right? Crazy Yenna, thank you for the eight month resub. What? Eight months? Gonna enjoy the sun today? I might like crack open my curtain a little bit. <laughs> I um, I really wanna, like I'll get outside a little bit, but I really wanna keep, keep my, keep my, uh, keep the raid guides coming. I got, a, I got, I got some more to do. The next couple are, are actually pretty easy. The, the next, ah, I lost my ball. Um, the next. Messy one is Echo of Naltharian has a lot going on, but the uh, the last couple are pretty straightforward. Does it not collect a thing? Even though I did all the time. Okay, Allison, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Yeah, touching grass sounds nice. It was supposed to be cloudy today, but it looks gorgeous outside. Maybe I'll go to a park and watch the crows. No, I don't have time to go to the park and watch the crows. <sighs> See if I'm rich yet. Anxiety over how much there will be to do on Tuesday. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might end up just writing down all the stuff I want to do. Even just like in the game for fun, just writing down everything. And then just kind of like looking at the time and, and how I can space stuff out and being like, it's okay if you don't do X, Y, Z on this day, you're going to get to that on this day and you'll have some time here. You don't have to do it all at once, but I know it's going to be like, oh my gosh, there's a lot to do. Illyrian, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Also, Hannah Roney, brand new Prime sub. Thank you very much. And Shinigami1989 with a brand new Prime sub. Oh, Prime subs. Thanks, guys. Going to Vancouver in August. Recommendations for things I should do and see. I am awful in that I have no idea. I haven't been to Vancouver in years and years and years. I don't get out. <laughs> I live in Victoria, but I... Um, buy groceries, I go to parks, like small local ones, <laughs> and um, and then I play WoW. I don't get out a whole lot. <sighs> yeah, listen to Lord Haji. They'll know. They'll know things. Hype train at this hour? I know, right? That's wild. Uh, hype train is close, but I was just about to... I mean, I mean we can... 
We can stick around for a hot second. What time? What? How, how gold is it? How rich am I? I just picked up 173k from my mailbox. Um, I'm gonna reset these guys. We're gonna we're gonna repost that. Love Victoria. It's so gorgeous there. It's beautiful. Um, it's beautiful. I love Vancouver Island. I I like Victoria, but one day I would like to live farther from the city. I'd like to live somewhere a little more rural. The dream is finding some place nice and quiet and a bit rural where I can still get like decent enough internet to stream comfortably, and that might be just a pipe dream. But yeah, it's expensive. It's very spendy to live here. Mm. Streamers seem to get more excited. Is it better to get Prime subs? So Prime subs give a streamer exactly the same amount of money as a regular sub. But sometimes, and I don't know, I don't know if this is what I'm doing. Maybe it is. Um, if you call out that they're Prime subs specifically, it will remind people that they have a prime sub <laughs> and then more people will give you prime subs. Um, sometimes just mentioning it enough kind of gets them going. So people will do that because they, they pay as much as a regular sub. Unfortunately for viewers, prime subs don't, um, they don't disable ads the way like a paid sub would. Um, on my channel, I have it so that uh, paid subs, regular paid subs, as long as it's working correctly, should not get ads on my channel. And prime subs don't get that benefit, which kind of sucks. I wish they would give it to prime subs. Sarah Four, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Hobbs is bad at jumping with a two month resub. Thank you. Board Geek YT, Board Geek YouTube with a two month resub. Assuming YouTube. They need reminders because they have to do it every month. Yeah, there's that. There's that too. Oh, is that a Clash Royale pillow? No. I have. The well played is Hearthstone. And then I have an actual Hearthstone. And then there's. We've got our Moon Cannon and our Alliance pillow. Love Twitch Turbo for the no ads anywhere. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff too. Sub is Prime, not getting ads at all, working fine for me. There you go. Jans plays games, thank you for the Prime sub. I don't know if that's the case for everybody though. I've heard of people using Prime subs and still getting ads. If you use Prime subs and don't get ads, that's great. <laughs> that's excellent. <sighs> Cause uh, I, know, I, know the ad I know the ads are annoying. Um, I can't complain about them too much though. They pay my rent. <laughs> What was I gonna do? I was uh, resetting my auctions. I was. I'm gonna wrap up pretty soon. <laughs> I feel bad for wrapping up right when the subs get going. We've got a hype train. We got a level three hype train. I'm gonna wrap up somewhat soon um, because I do want to make sure that I leave enough time to to keep up with keep up with raid guides. Wow, they're coming along though. Doing raid guides is getting me really excited for raiding. Um, I always feel better about getting into raid nights when I'm like, oh yeah, this is how this fight works, and this is how this fight works, and I'm gonna soak this thing on this fight, and I'm gonna get in this point on this one. You need time to watch the crows. <laughs> um, Vazil Thun, thank you for the seven month resub. What is your favorite pet in the game? I have two answers to this. The answer for the the cutest pet in the game, I still think, is this thing. The coastal sandpiper is a wild pet from Legion on like the beaches of Suramar. And I think this is just the cutest thing they've ever done in their whole lives. It's like, it's adorable, but it doesn't look adorable in like a, in like a doll kind of way. Like some of the new cute pets, like if you look at Womper, um, they, they look like, the way that they've done the eyes on them makes them look like kind of miniaturized plushies in a way that it's like cute, but it doesn't, it doesn't quite do it for me in the same way as the Coastal Sandpiper. But then also, um, the other answer to that is my my green wing macaw. Macaw! My green wing macaw. That's like that's like my my signature pet. That was the first pet I ever got. It looks just the same as it always has. I'm I would be I would be, I think, a little bit bummed if they updated that model. I know they have new parrot models, and I'm happy to collect new parrot pets, but I want that one to stay just the same forever. Does your guild watch your guides? Yep. <laughs> I, we link, I link them in Discord, and then we take a two minute break, three minute break before each poll on the first time that we pull them, and then link it in Discord and have everybody watch it. And I can make YouTube videos, and I can stream, and I can upload stuff, and I don't really think too much about the fact that anybody watches it, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm shy and a bit socially anxious in person, but on this I've gotten very used to. However, when you know that the people that you raid with every week that you're just kind of like friends with, that you just hang out with, are actively watching that thing you did on YouTube with your 
silly puns and like your presenter voice. In real time, it makes my insides turn into worms that try to eat each other. It's, I have to, like, I can't, I, I don't rewatch the video. I will look at my own notes. I will get up. I will take a walk. I'll take a breather. It's so, um, I mean, I'm glad that they watch the videos and it does seem to make our polls a bit smoother when, when people have like a basic idea before we go in of just like some of the real key points. But, oh man, it's real embarrassing. <laughs> um, Coastal Sandpaper somewhat unique. You would grab Kira to plushie, pretty much, yeah. <sighs> <It's>... mm -hmm. Oh, I sold some Primal Convergence. Do they comment on the videos while watching? Uh, no, not usually. <laughs> it's, and it's, it's, it's fine. I have this feeling, or this fear, that may be justified to a greater or lesser extent. Because I'm not, it's not like a, a fan guild. It's just like a guild that I raid with. I have this idea that some of them, and it's nobody in particular. This is just a paranoia of mine. It's not that they don't like me, but that they think the YouTube thing is like a bit much. <laughs> and they probably don't. I'm hoping that if they don't like it, that they don't watch it. Because the last thing I want to do is is harass somebody that's like not really into the whole shtick with, Hi, I'm Hazel and you're standing in the fire. You know, like it's not for everybody. And I feel bad that like these poor people that just happen to raid in my guild get linked my guides. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sure it's fine. Um... Yeah, I'm procrastinating. I gotta, I gotta wrap it up. I will be back. Not tomorrow, not Tuesday. <laughs> happy patch, happy, happy season two start day. You guys are doing that one without me. I, uh, I don't stream on Tuesday. There's downtime anyways. I'll be, I'll be back on Wednesday. I shall be back on Wednesday. We'll do something fun. Thank you very much for joining me today. Appreciate the company and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.